Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do another one that I consider to be a very important concept. It's one that you're actually going to use. And so we'll try to do, go a little deeper into it. We're going to be concatenating strings with plus equals operators. Think about it like plus equals. It's like, uh, this is how, how it comes out. It's the plus equal sign. And that's essentially the same as uh, some of the math that we did previously. But when we do it here, it just concatenates strings like we've done in the past. Um, we can use the plus equals operator to concatenate a string into the end of an existing string variable. This can be very helpful to break a long string over several lines. Watch out for spaces. Concatenation does not add spaces between the concatenated strings, so you'll need to add them yourself. So they want us to build my string, which is this variable again. They've already uh, instantiated it for us over several lines by concatenating these two strings. So this is the first sentence, and then it's got a space, and this is the second sentence using a plus equals operator. Use the plus equals operator similar to how it is shown in the editor. Assign first. Start by assigning the first string to my string and then add the second one. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to set the first string to be equal to this is the first sentence. And then we're going to say um, we want to do, now what we want to do is call the same variable, but we want to add something on. So my string is equal to, um, and then we plus equal, and that makes it so that we add to the, uh, to the string we're going to add this next thing that they want us to say. This is the second string. Okay, cool. And so this should uh, console out here. Um, if I console log it, we'll see that the sentence comes out like this. Okay, so this is kind of a silly example. If we run the test, I think it'll pass. It should have the value of this is this first sentence. Space, this is the second sentence. Oh, I'm missing a period right there. So yeah, it seems like little stuff, but in computer programming, there's often times where you're having problems like this. Let's do a better example of this. Let's do a, we're going to console log something called HTML example. Okay, so HTML example is a variable that doesn't work. So first I'm going to set it, right? Uh, we're going to say HTML example is equal to, let's say, it's equal to, um, say you want to do div class equals body. Right? And then let's say you, you have, um, do you have to silence these out here? Unexpected token. Oh, got it. Okay, so this is an HTML example. Let's say that you've got, um, and then you're sort of manually generating. So what you could do is say, if say you do something in the back end here that involves like a database call, what you could do is say, um, now your HTML uh, example plus equals the uh, content. Now what's the content? We would set the variable for content to be equal to uh, something like a heading tag that says your name, right? And then at the end of it, you would want to say HTML example, you won't want to close it out. Um, and then the way, because we, right now we've got an open div and we've got a closed heading. So we want to close this out with a closed div. And this is a way that you could generate HTML. This is the HTML using this plus equals operator. So as you can tell, this is something that's actually very useful. This is all completely unnecessary for the purposes of this uh, tutorial. But I just wanted to give you guys an example of how this would really happen. In a real application, you could make a database call and have the content be generated um, through some sort of an API call or something like that that would make it so that you could get maybe a list of all the names of all the states or something like that if you had a... Uh, of, you know that kind of thing on your server so this is kind of stuff that's just helpful it's kind of like the thing I wish I had when I was learning to code a bit more so I'm just going to comment this all out and run the test again and we pass hope this was helpful see you guys in the next lesson